So I'd like to start off by saying, Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Akakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you, brothers, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. All right, doing a quick little video. Um, this is Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Um, which uh, this is a letter of the Apostle Paul, and early in the chapter, you know, he was going into um, you know, conducting yourself. Okay, amongst some, um, you know, amongst men in various situations, whether it be a master or whether it be a servant, or you got to keep in mind of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, all things are done for the good and order of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And um, at the end, I kind of wanted to go into the end of this writing because the finally, the final thing he told us was to be strong in the Lord and put on the whole armor of the Heavenly Father. Basically, the Apostle Paul is giving us gain through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai to conduct ourselves. Now, this is a spiritual warfare. So, I read verse 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because Yahweh by Hashem Shai, Yahweh being the Most High, Yahweh Shai being his son. And the Ba Hashem uh, means in the name of. But those two different entities, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, they're powerful. They have power. All right. Yahweh Shai gets his power through the Father. All right. And the Father is is he is. All right. That's just what it is. He is. So he is mighty. And how do we be strong in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai? By putting on the whole armor. And we're going to go into the whole armor in this video real quick. And this is not going to be a long video, but uh, this is our spiritual war. Uh, uh, well, this is, I like to say, this is a spiritual warfare. And how we're going to be able to make it through the spiritual warfare, which is going to get physical, is by us putting on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim al and constantly enduring. Because what we're fighting against, we're not fighting against things that uh, we can see directly. We're fighting against things that we can't see. And the thing about putting out these videos and putting out these scriptures is when you read into it, one of the um, the things is the sword is the spirit, which a sword is the uh, it's a weapon. All right. And the words of the Lord is a weapon. And it's obvious that it's hurting. All right. The enemy, because of how the enemy is coming up against this word, case in point, vocab alone. OK, you had another um, a Malachite that did a TikTok video. I think the brother from Dallas did a video on it, on him. And uh, they're hurting. OK, so, yeah, like the scriptures say, finally, my brother, and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And one of the things that are is powerful about the Heavenly Father is for him to have these words written down on paper. And have us so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans come out and read them. And the whole world is mad, <laughs> especially the Edomites. They're mad because we're calling ourselves the Israelites, the people of the Bible. All right. But they can't prove in the scriptures that they are the people by what is written in the scriptures. But we can. According to the Bible. And that's the power of his might. And that's what we have to be strong in. All right. Our belief is not given unto these other nations. It says, put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shema Oshai that ye may that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And when you go into that world, wiles in the Greek, we look it up into the Greek because the New Testament is translated from the Greek into Latin. But that word for wiles, that word is methodia. And that word is cunning arts, cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. See, the Heavenly Father have blinded the minds of two thirds of our people that they don't have this knowledge. So therefore, they're given over to that deception. And the craft and the trickery is going to get it's going to be enhanced on a, on, a, on a higher level, especially during the hour of martial law. OK, people are not going to know what to think. 
But we have these scriptures. That's why there's going to be a famine of hearing the word of the Lord. See, right now you can get the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai via the Internet. Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Ramla, the, the, um, Elder Tahar, you know, the elders, the apostles. You have certain brothers. They put up videos every day because what? It's in their spirit to uh, uh, feed the flock. But it's going to come a time where you're going to be uh, a it's going to be a threat of your life. Speak the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Therefore, the word is not going to go out in abundance like like it like it um like it is now. You can find it on YouTube. Access it twenty four seven. All right, because the servers are always up. But it's going to come a time where in the servers you're not going to be able to allow the servers and the AI. The algorithm is not going to allow you to hear the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and the uh, the name of the Lord. To hear the scriptures, Revelation 13 and 16, all right, uh, uh, Revelation 13 and 9, you know, Revelation 13 and 10, you know, um, uh, 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 what is it, uh, Isaiah 14 and 1, you know those scriptures, those are some scriptures that come to mind, you know, um, faith boosting scriptures and prophecies, but um, you're not going to be able to get those. All right, so as part of the craft and the trickery, you're going to be able to get a whole bunch of misinformation all right, and information according to Esau Edom's narrative. All right, so that's why you got to put on the whole armor of the Heavenly Father and what's included in the whole armor. All right, we're going to get into that. But it says, verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the world is the world consists of like the apostle uh Gabar, if I'm not mistaken, would say the world is consist of the things that you don't see. All right? Everything that you do see comes comes of the ground. All right? And and this the uh the things that you don't see, the spiritual things, all right, have made up what you do see. OK, and there's principalities, there's wickedness, there's there's evil, there's sinister evil in the society. You have witches, you have warlocks. OK, you have people that are just dead set in them to do evil, to do wicked. To the point where if this was exposed to us right in our face. We wouldn't even believe it. Even though it be even though it be told to us or you're being told things, we, we tell you things what that the elites do like pray to the heavenly father that we keep on going off and, and, and be basically be the accuser of thy brethren. But the average Israelite doesn't see that. Okay. But we see it through the spirit. So for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against power. See this, these, this is what we're up against, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Yeah. The rulers of darkness, have an interest in keeping this earth and this world operating on this vibration, on this frequency, where people just dumb down, people people uh, uh, love the evil and hate the good, all right? Everything is turned against the Heavenly Father, all right? That's, this is what we're up against, that craft, that trickery, all right, that deceit, all right? The scriptures say that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Esau Edom has been given charge of the Heavenly Father to take peace away from the earth. All right. And that's why the earth is in this state, because the Heavenly Father is going to, like the scriptures say, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Because the Heavenly Father has formed and fashioned Esau Edom. OK. Uh, uh, the one that has a uh, uh, rulership of the darkness. Okay. He have set him up. All right. To, um, to do what he does so he can take him out and, and turn everything from righteous. That's why the scriptures, uh, speak in, um, the book of Job, it says, uh, the triumph talks about the triumphant of the wicked and the joy of the hypocrite is for a short moment. Though his excellency mount up to heaven. All right. Talks about that. All right, because the Heavenly Father is going to take him out of power. And that's what we're up against. 
That's why we got to put on the whole armor. It says, uh, it says, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shemel Shad, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Yeah, a bad time, because that's what's coming, a bad time. So we have to have the whole armor. And having done all to stand. Remember, uh, the Lord said that um, because thou hast kept my patience, I will also keep thee in the hour of temptation. And that's why that scripture popped into my mind, because it says um, that ye may be, may be able to withstand in the evil day, the hour when the MOTB is implemented. There's chaos on the streets and there's a lot of confusion. All right. And people don't know what to do, but there's an option to turn to Esau and take his uh, 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 his his tag, be tagged, be cataloged, be processed into his NWO system. OK. But uh, the Lord, he gives us uh, he's going to. Um, he's going to keep us in a day of temptation. Right. That's our hope. All right. That the Lord has his his door available and that we can see it, you know, and that we're confident in walking through that door that he has spiritually opened up unto us. All right. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Shah that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth. So we have the truth who we are. All right, that's what you have to have your loins girded about. We know who we are. We know who our power is and we know his name, who, what, what his name is. Thereby, we know what he's going to do at an appointed time. And that's how we're going to stand. All right. And having on the breastplate of righteousness, which the Lord have gave us commandments. He gave us statues. All right. He's given us an operating platform, so to speak, if I can say that to exemplify his righteousness all right and that's a part of um what we wear in the battle a breastplate of righteousness which that's for defense too all right it says and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel another thing that just came to my mind the scripture says study to show thyself approved okay because what is the gospel the gospel is good news and you have to have studied it, all right, to be in preparation, to uh, to have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Because this is what we speak of, even though it might seem terrible to the uh, un unstudied, okay, the unwise, is this is good news. This is the gospel of our peace. You want to know why when a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American going to stop uh, uh, killing themselves in the streets, stop being slaves, stop uh, suffering, was when Yahweh Shah come back, all right, and take the crowns of these kings of the earth, the, the current rulerships, the current rulers out of power, all right, this is what what um, our feet and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel, this is what we teach, all right, this is the peace of our people. Verse 16, it says, above all, taking the shield of faith. All right, which faith is very important when you go to Hebrews 11. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And there's a scripture that says uh, the things that are seen are temporal, which are the things that we see now, but the things that are not seen are eternal. And we're banking on that. There's another scripture in Isaiah 64 and 8. It says, uh, um, I've thought about the older depth of riches, but it says, I eyes have not seen nor ears have heard the things that the Lord had prepared for them uh, that love him or wait for him. You know, so there's multiple. This is how we defend ourselves with the shield of faith. OK, with these scriptures, we use these scriptures for faith boosters. We're looking for something that's outside of what we see. All right. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Yeah, because they're going to throw darts of deception. They're going to make you think that what what you're speaking of is not going to come to pass. And what we're talking about is the kingdom of heaven, which is written of in the scriptures. In the book of Tobit, it says the kingdom of heaven um, shall be built with gold and battlements with, you know, pure gold, you know, the, st the streets of Jerusalem 
And the Lord is Zechariah, Zechariah 8, he speaks of um, little boys and little girls playing in the streets of Jerusalem and old men and old women with their staff in their hands. You know, old men with their staff in their hands. So this is the part of the faith that we're going to use to ward off Esau's uh, 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 grandeur of his imagination, of his kingdom in, in, in the new world order system in which we're nothing but mere subjects. See, what we're speaking of, we're speaking of sovereignty. All right, we're fighting for sovereignty. OK, and that's why we put on these. Um, uh, 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 we put on this um, spiritual armor. Because this is what we want. We want sovereignty. We want peace. We want to be able to worship our Lord without having a threat of another nation trying to overtake us or, or plot and scheme against us. Especially on on a um, on on a, on a spiritual uh, with spiritual wickedness, you know. Because yeah, we you know we we're, we we do these videos and. But we have uh, these Edomites, these warlocks, you know, coming at us. They, they might try to attack our family members, people that we're close to, you know. And, and, you know, it's just ridiculous, man. But this is what we have to do. This is what we have for um, our defense, the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, so the helmet is for salvation. Ultimately, we get the victory. That's the salvation. Alright. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Heavenly Father. That's why we use the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We got to use the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because that's what's cutting. That's what's cutting. Let's uh, go to Hebrews. And I'll end it with, with this real quick. Because I haven't brought this out. Is it Hebrews 4? Hebrews 4. I thought I'd just seen it. Yeah, here it goes right here. Hebrews 4 and 12. This is Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and this is a two-edged sword too so you know it's double deadly because uh the words of the lord even have the potential to cut us you have to get right so that you can live in the word of the lord you know it says for the word of yahweh bashim al is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword sharper than any two-edged sword Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, yeah, man, you, the Heavenly Father knows how powerful his word cuts. All right. And it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So by us doing these works and um, pushing his word. All right, it's it's going out to where it needs to go and it's doing what it needs to do. And it's cutting souls out here, man. All right, that's why they hate this word, man. And that's why we, we use the whole armor. We got to put on the whole armor, continue to um, fight the spiritual fight and use the armor that Yahweh Bashim al have given us. All right. So with that, call hello, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Bashim Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom on.